Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, students. How are you today? Fine, teacher. You. Okay, nice. I'm really good. A little bit hot, right? As you see here. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I have another class before this one. Tenía otra clase, así que. No me fijé en el time. Okay. Okay, students. How are you, Flor? Flor, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Okay, I'm fine. What about you? Fine. Okay, I'm fine. Good. How are you today? Oh, very fine, very fine, thanks. And okay. you? I'm really good. A little bit in a hat. It's hot today. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let's, see. <laughs> let's see. How are you, Nelly? Okay. I have a problem with the microphone. Don't worry. But you, you can, you know, you can learn through it, you know, visual today don't worry about it <laughs> okay that's good you can listen today class amazing sophie how are you today i'm fine thank you okay very good amazing fabiola how are you today fine teacher okay that's good that's good awesome okay elsie how are you I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. Okay, very good. Reina, how are you today? I feel homesick. Ah, really? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> no problem, right? Okay, very good. Fabrizio, how are you today? Good night, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice, amazing. Okay, Stephanie, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, nice, awesome students. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna start with today's class? Yeah, sure. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Leticia, le vas a... Okay, okay, that's good. Amazing, okay, let's, let's get a start with this. Okay, students, basically uh, today we're gonna continue with uh, our module, right? It's number three. Okay, and we got today's topic, right? We're gonna talk about two topics. We're gonna talk about passive event two, but the first one is it is and the second one. Simple. Simple, past, irregular verbs. Okay. Los verbos irregulares del pasado simple. Ok, very nice, thank you. Ok, básicamente vamos a ver ED, endings, and irregular verbs. Verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. Very nice. Ok. Continue with this. Ok, we're going to start with uh, today's objectives. Somebody who help me to read the first one. Me, me teacher. Okay, okay, thank you, Flora. Go ahead. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verb. Okay, thank you. Amazing. Very good work. The second one. Me, teacher. Okay, okay, go ahead. Stephanie. By the end of this class, you will learn positive and negative. A statement in the simple use it regular verbs. Okay, very nice, really good work. Thank you. Okay, students, basically today class uh, we had to get these two objectives to learn how to sound natural. Vamos a aprender cómo sonar natural. Vamos a ver eso. Using regular verbs, right? Se recuerda que la clase de ayer les dije que les iba a traer una Uh, todos los aquellos montón de verbos como 400 
<risa> son bromas. Eh, vamos a ver unos cuantos que son los más usados y a darles las técnicas. How you can uh, to sound natural when you use these regular verbs. Okay. And also we're gonna learn positive and negative statement with irregular verbs too. Okay. We're gonna start with useful words. Okay, let's see this. Um, somebody who helped me to read this one. I stood I studied study English. I study English. Continue with Yesterday afternoon. Yeah, very good. This is a present or past sentence. Pass. 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 Thank you, very good. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, that's good. Then we have this, the second one. Who wants to help me to read it? I went to the restaurant with my father. Okay, thank you, Stephanie, really good. This is a, uh, what, present or past? Past. Past, past. very good, Be because what? Por qué? Why? Por, por ver su cuerpo. Ah, how? This one. Yes. Yeah, went, went. Past. Okay, very good, past tense, very good. Okay, students, now we have the negative wave of these sentences, right? Tenemos la forma negativa de estas. Eh, la niña. Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> nice. Okay, pensé que era mí, ya me regañaron. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, continue with this. We have the negative wave. <laughs> okay, don't worry, brain that. <laughs> okay, eh, tenemos la forma negativa de estos verbos o de esta forma de hablar en pasado y veamos uh, Fabricio read the negative way of the first one I did I didn't study English yesterday afternoon okay thank you very good okay let me see Elsie Gonzalez this one the last one I didn't go to the restaurant with my father. Okay, very nice, thank you. Okay, student, as you see, we have the verb in these sentences, right? Tenemos los verbos. Este es un verbo, yep. ¿Es este un verbo? Yes, yes. The yes. Okay, very good. Y acá, ¿cuál es el verbo? Este o este? Yes, study. 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 What about this one? When. 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 In, when. in this case? Go. 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 Okay, very good. Go. Okay, students, as you see here, we got two verbs que están en pasado. Study y went. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de estos dos verbos que están en pasado? What's the difference? D. Ah, the, the ending, right? ¿Y este qué pasa? Miren acá, tenemos go in the present. ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es go? Here. 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 Very good. Y acá went es? Fue. 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 Okay, okay, muy bien. Entonces, es el mismo, pero es en pasado. ¿Qué pasa con este? Como se antepone el didn't, entonces no se, no se pone el verbo. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, yeah, sure. Thank you, Flor. But in this case, students, go, no le agregamos ed. ¿Ya lo notaron? Yes. Yes. Bien, sino que cambia completamente. Entonces, a estos verbos que cambian completamente le vamos a llamar irregular verbs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo? Disculpe, no lo escuché. Ok. A los verbos que tenemos acá, go. Disculpe, disculpe. Okay, yeah. No, no, don't worry. Ok, go, eh, presente, went en pasado. ¿Qué pasa? Cambia totalmente. Cambia. Cambia. Entonces, uh -huh. a estos verbos les vamos a llamar irregulares. Irregulares. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, muy bien. 
But what happened here? Study. Study. A este solo le agregamos una, cambiamos la Y por I latina y luego ET, right? ET. Entonces a estos verbos le vamos a llamar irregulares. Ok, estos son irregulares. ¿Y esto sería? Irregulares. Regular. Regulares. Las regulares. regulares. ¿Por, qué? ¿Por qué regulares? Porque siempre le vamos a agregar ED. Ok, ok. Yo sé que ahí Wilfredo está diciendo, teacher, no lo entiendo. No lo understand. Pero ya lo vamos a entender más a profundidad. Ok, let's get started this. Tenemos the negative wave. Si ustedes notan, no importa que sea irregular o regular word, siempre vamos a empezar con didn't. Didn't study. Didn't go. Didn't. Ok, ya. Yeah. Entonces, para negar el pasado es más fácil porque solo agregamos didn't, right? Ok. Yep. Ok. Ok, let's see the difference between irregulars and regular verbs. Ok, Wilfredo, can you help me to read the definition of irregular verbs? Irregular verbs how special past tense forms. Yeah. They, they do not end in D or ED. Yeah. You will need to memorize this special form. Example, okay. drive, drop. Very nice. What happened here? Basically, uh, this verb not D or ED. No, right? No terminan con D o ED. Sino que su escritura. What happened? Diferentes. Muy bien. Es Muy bien. Drive, drove. Eh, incluso la pronunciación, right? Drive, drove. Drive, manejar, drove. I drove my car yesterday. Yeah. Manejé mi carro. Yeah, very good, nice. Thank you. Okay, continue with this. Yo sé que eh, Leticia want to participate, but I'm sorry, Leticia. <laughs> eh, vamos a dar la oportunidad, Fabricio. Okay, Fabricio, okay. help to read. Uh, <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> okay. Regular verbs. Yeah. When forming the past tense of regular verbs, add D or ED to the present tense form of the verb. Example, cook, cooker. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, what's happened with regular verb? We only add D or ED. Yeah, that's simple, right? Solo agregamos ED o a veces una D. Entonces, keep in mind, please. Regular verbs, solo agregamos ED o una D. Regular verbs cambia totalmente o quedan iguales. Yes? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, students, do you have any questions? No questions? No, teacher, no question. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, students, let's see. Uh, did you remember that yesterday class we were talking about how to pronounce these uh, past verbs? ¿Cómo pronunciar estos verbos? En este caso, algunos suenan con T, algunos suenan con D, y otros suenan con it, it. ¿Cómo así? How come? Let's see. Cuando tenemos esta T, the sound will be voiceless. We have two sounds. Tenemos dos sonidos. Los voiceless. What does it mean, voiceless? Silencioso. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Fabricio. Silencioso, no tienen sonidos. Muy bien. Y los voiced. Sonido. Very good, que tienen sonido. Por, for example... T. Ok, for example, we got it this one. Tenemos el primero acá. Eh, ending with T, um, you know, in the pronunciation of these verbs. For example, eh, en presente decimos esta, este verbo, ¿cómo lo decimos? Work. Work, Work. very good. En pasado. 
Work. 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 Eh, todo lo han hecho muy bien. That's amazing. Me gusta que participen simultáneamente. That's awesome. <risa> <risa> Pero este se dice word. 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 ¿Por qué es voiceless? ¿Por qué no tienes? Ustedes van a identificar. Okay, you are going to identify if it is voiceless or voice with this. Con esto. Veamos. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Eh, los voiceless no have a vibration in our throat. No tienen una vibración en nuestra garganta. ¿Cómo así? Pónganse la mano acá en su garganta. Eh, no muy fuerte, güey. <risa> ok. Que no los vaya a ver ahí. Ok. Si ustedes ven, cuando hablamos, hay una vibración. ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero cuando yeah. ustedes dicen este verbo, no hay vibración tan fuerte. For example, digan word, word. 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 ¿Se fijan word. cuando decimos esta T al final? Word. Ya no se oye. Word. ¿Ya? Yeah. Word. Word. ¿Ya? Yeah. No yeah. Ok, ok. Yeah. Watch. 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 No hay vibración al final, ¿verdad? What? No. Ok, entonces por eso se le llama voiceless. Yeah. Ok, ¿por qué a esto se le va a llamar voice? Mantengan la mano ahí, yo sé que eh, es difícil, pero eh, no se puede muy fuerte. Eh, this one you can say clean. D. Termina con una D. D. Clean. D. Clean. Clean. Entonces, ahí sientes la vibración, una vibración acá. Ya, yeah. ok, por eso se le llama voice. Voice. Ok, state. 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 Ok, state. state. Ok, continue with this. Esta es la más fácil que hay de pronunciar. Si ustedes se encuentran en un verbo que termina con T o con una D, van a pronunciar los id. ¿Cómo así? Este verbo normal se dice invite. 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 Pero van a decir invited. 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 Sienten la vibration, right? Yes. Invited. 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 Entonces, por eso es voiced. Estas dos son voiced. Ok. Okay. Okay. Para hacer más, eh, esto se lo voy a decir en Spanish. Esta T es más fácil de decir. Esta I también. Pero with this one, we're going to have a problem. Vamos a tener un problema. ¿Por qué? When we talk with a people, no nos vamos a detener. Eh, students, hello, I cleaned my house. Da, da, da. No, right? Esta es la más fácil porque esta de casi ni se escucha. For example, students, I cleaned my house yesterday. ¿Qué palabra le dio el énfasis que, que fue en pasado? Yesterday. Yeah, very good. Yesterday. Yeah, por eso es importante que ustedes manejen expresiones que nos digan que es un pasado. Yesterday, eh, last week, last night. Last night. Uh, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, whatever, right? Ok, entonces esta, eh, sí es importante que ustedes lo conozcan, pero no. Teacher, I cleaned my house. Y quiero que suene natural. Ok. Eh, ¿Yo? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ok, continue with this. Ok, eh, vibration, right? Okay. We're going to continue with regular verbs. Vamos a continuar con verbos regulares. 
Y ah. en este caso sé que los verbos son un poco ahí boring, you know, sometimes we want to go to sleep like this, but it is important to learn these words. Es importante aprenderse esta palabra, porque con ella vamos a poder expresar nuestras ideas. Ok, we're going to continue. We have it, T, and B. El sonido es id, id, la vibration, la vibration here. And you, 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 and uh, if you want, you can take notes or take pictures. Los verbos que terminan con T or D van a sonar it siempre, que sean regulares. Como así, want, want. Want. Con want. Con T. Con T. Entonces, want. el pasado va a sonar want. 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 Wanted. Want. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Wilfredo. Wanted. Wanted. Want. 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 Ok, me voy a detener un poco más en esto porque si ustedes son capaces de comprenderlo a fondo, créanme que va a ser a piece of cake for you. Entonces, eh, wanted. 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 Ok, need. 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 Vamos a decir it. It. Yeah, it. It. Muy bien, que es it. Ok. It. Esta palabra de acá casi siempre suena con la T, pero cuando ustedes lo dicen rápido va a sonar what it. 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 Right. Okay. Uh, this is uh, difficult, but uh, there is another way. You have to learn cómo terminan estas palabras. Las, termin las palabras que terminan con P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, and so on, van a sonar con T. ¿Cómo así? Help. Yeah. Help. 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 Wash, 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 Love. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, so then let's see. Continue with this. We got breath. 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 
No bread. No bread. 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 Yeah, bread. bread. Okay. What, what is that? Yeah, yeah, very good. Thank you, Leticia. La escuchamos really nice. Yes? You can say breath or breathe, whatever you want. Breathe. 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 Entonces, breathe. sería breathe. 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 Yeah. breathe. Okay, this one, kiss. Esta es una difícil. Kiss. 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 Póngale la T al final. Kiss. 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 Ok, ok, more or less. Kiss. 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 Ok. Kiss. Eh, no es kid. Kid es un, es un eh, niño. Kick kiss. es una patada. Kick. Entonces aquí sería kiss. 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 Ok, ok. Kiss. Ok, este es. Veamos ahí. Ve por qué sweating a lot, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. La S, in this case, kiss, suelta. Kiss. 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 Ahora kiss. solo agreguen la T. Kiss. 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 Yeah, yeah. Kiss. Ahora kiss. más rápido. Kiss. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Por ahí, 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 por ahí vamos. Okay, really good. Continue with this one. Dance. 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 Tomorrow, dance. I mean, I danced yesterday uh, with a lady. I danced yesterday with a lady. Yeah, right? Ok, si ustedes notan, la T nos dice que es pasado, más yesterday, right? Ok, good. Then we have fix, fix. 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 La T. Fix. Fix. Ok, ok. No fit, fit. Primero la X. Fix. 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 Ok, very good. Ok, para que no haya problema, as I said before, siempre agreguen una palabra que nos diga que es un pasado. ¿Sí? Porque así no vamos a estar. Eh, I kissed. Uh, I kissed. Yeah, yes, sir, right? No, sir, no, I kissed. No, girlfriend. A few years ago, or so on. Right? Ok, very good. And we have the last one. Esta es bien chistosa. That's a funny. Me gusta por lo general porque va a sonar así. Como que no pueden hablar. O sea, este, este es un freno, pero no como, como la T. Sí. Ok. this. Cold. 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 Clean. 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 Off. Off. Sure. They Demash. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Amazed. 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 Okay, students, very good work. Okay, as you see here, 
Eh, esto es muy chistoso, pero vamos a intentarlo aprender. Así que las pronunciaciones de que have regular verb is it. Right? It. Want it. Helped. Called. Called. Well, esta T le vamos a llamar voiceless porque no tiene una vibration. Helped. Esa T no tiene vibración. Es casi muda, pero sí se escucha. Ok. <laughs> ok. ¿May I continue? Or, I don't know if you have a question about this. No question. Ok, very good. Ok, continue with this, students. Ok, eh, estos son los verbos más comunes that you're going to find if you want to take a picture or I can send it to you to WhatsApp. Puedo mandárselo por WhatsApp, no sé, in this picture, right? So, no. Yes, thank you. Okay, está todo. Okay, we're going to run quickly, right? Tenemos los que terminan con ir. Son todos los verbos que tienen una T o una D at the end. For example, want, wanted. Que ya lo vimos. Another example that we have is hate. ¿Cómo sería este en pasado? ¿Cuál? Hate. Hate it. 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 Muy bien. Hate it. Hate yeah. it. Tenemos need. Ah, no, ese ya lo vimos. Ya lo vimos. Sorry. Uh, need. Ok. Pretend. 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 Okay, very good. I'm gonna uh, run quickly with the T on as que terminan en T, T sin sonido. Eh, missed. 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 What is missed? Extrañar. Yeah, yeah, sure. Eh, por ejemplo, en la the quarantine, right? En la cuarentena, muchos sufrieron, right? Yeah, I think. Okay, that's good. Ok, nice. Ok, entonces todos estos chicos terminan con una t, t no con una t, sino que es t, t, no. t, 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 t. como cuando estornuda el gatito, right? Ok, good. Ok, kissed, closed, relaxed, 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 and so on. Helped, type. Don't worry about it. Esto ustedes lo pueden What? seguir estudiando sí. eh, en un tiempo libre. Because of the time. Esto se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp. Are you agree? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Porque acá siguen estos otros con la D. D, D. Called. Failed. Field. And so on. Right? Called. Okay. Okay. Todos estos verbos, la mayoría de ustedes se lo saben. Estoy más que seguro. Entonces, el pasado va a ser sumamente fácil identificarlos si ustedes usan estas tres claves. It, T, o T, and a, T, D, right? D. D. Yeah. Ok. Después de ahí de las muecas y todo lo chistoso que hicimos, continue with today. And let's work together, right? We got the word that expressed the past. Yesterday, last night, last week, last year, yesterday afternoon, yesterday, yesterday morning, and so on, right? Very nice. What you're gonna do? Try to make simple sentence in the past with this verb. Van a intentar hacer oraciones en pasado simple con estos verbos. ¿Cuáles verbos? Let's see. Want, want, need, and clean. 
Ok, en pasado, ¿cómo va a sonar este? Wanted. Yeah. Wanted. Wanted. Yeah, okay, very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Wanted. 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 Si no, Clint. 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 Si que con Clint. 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 Ok, what you gonna do? You have to make sentence with at least three verbs. Tres oraciones. For example, in my case. Eh, ok. Tres oraciones. Pueden elegir de estos o de estos. Tenemos también kiss. Kiss. Use. ¿Cómo se dice este en pasado? Kids. Yes. Yeah. This one? It used. Used. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Thank you, Stephanie. You got it, right? Really nice. Okay, the example is, for example, elijan tres de estas, cualesquiera que ustedes quieran, tres de estos verbos. Yo elegí want, así que eh, mi ejemplo sería... I wanted to buy a new car yesterday morning, right? Yo, uh -huh, what does it mean? Yo, yo fui a comprar un carro nuevo ayer en la mañana. Quería, yo quería. Okay, okay. Uh, I want. Ah, uh, Comprar un carro nuevo ayer en la mañana. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y acá qué dice? Yo. Quise. Yo fui. Okay, okay. Yo quería. Yeah, thank you. Yo quería comprar un carro nuevo. Ah, yo quería. Okay. Quería, quería, pero no. Quería. Quería. Estaba soñando ahí con algo así. Ok, that's good. Nice. Ok, you have to uh, make three simple sentences in the past tense like this, como estas. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. How do you say use it in Spanish? Ah, este es usar. Okay, teacher. Usar. Thank you. Okay, muy bien. Recuérdense que hay otra forma para este que es I use to. Cuando tengan ese to va junto, significa solía. Solía. Okay. Pero en este caso, solito es eh, usar. Okay. Yeah. okay, that's good. I used to live alone. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Okay, students, ready? Three questions. And you have to practice each other. Tienen que practicarlas juntos. Muy bien. Okay, vamos. Okay, ready? You take notes already? ¿Ya tomaron nota de estos verbos? Okay, take notes. Hay que hacer tres oraciones con estos verbos, cualquiera que ustedes deseen. Si quieren hacer seis, amazing. Si no, solo tres y se las dicen a su compañero. Vamos a ver si entienden cuando están hablando in the past tense. Ok. Ready? Ready. Ok, very good. Ok, students. Um, We're gonna make groups and practice each other, right? Practiquen esas eh, oraciones juntos. No sean tímidos. Don't be shy. You can do it. And remember that practice make perfect. La práctica hace al maestro. Go ahead. Go ahead, students. Don't be shy and practice each other.
repetimos la, la, la frase. Ok. Sería, I needed, eh, digamos, I needed a notebook. Eh, I needed a? A notebook. O, yo necesito un cuaderno para mañana. Oh, no, 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 eso sería eh, el, el futuro. Sería pasado. I need eh, um, eh, no Tendría que ser porque si dice para mañana, no estamos hablando no, de no. futuro. No, no, no. Sí, sí, sí. Perdón. Tendría que ser para. Eh, last night, por ejemplo. Usar otra cosa. Ah, last, last night. night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Last, last night. night. Para anoche, ¿verdad? Sí. I need a notebook last night. Uh -huh. O que necesitamos otra cosa. No sé cómo que puede ser. Eh, necesité. Eh, ¿Qué podría ser? Yeah. Se me a car. El, It could be a car. ¿Eh? <laughs> a car, right? A car. Yeah, a bike. Ah, okay. I, I needed a car uh, yesterday. Yeah, really. Nice, amazing. Continue practice, students. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I needed, se oye como, como R I D, I need it or I need it. Okay, yeah, yeah. you can say it uh, in both ways. Need it, need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. A car. Yeah. Okay, very good. Continue need practice. I podríamos utilizarlo. Sí, sí, ajá, con eso hacía eh, sí, referencia al pasado, pero a use entendía que es como usaba o usé. ¿Será? Ya, es la idea. Ah. Entonces, ¿tú quieres decir yo usualmente? Solía bailar en noches, quizás. <risa> ah, no. O, no eh, o... Ok, ok. Eh, ¿a quién, ¿Quién salía a bailar? Yo. Sofi. Sofi, Sofi. Ok, entonces Sofi. <risa> entonces Sofi. Eh, ahí en ese caso, el verbo que vamos a poner en pasado va a ser... Bailar. Dance. Bailar. Dance. Dance. Yeah, dance. Dance. Yeah, very good. Entonces usted va a decir, eh, what, co, ¿cómo era la, la sentence? I used to dance at night. No. Yeah, yeah very good. It's nice. ¿Por qué usa used to ahí? Porque en ese caso, used to no significa usar, sino que significa yo solía. Solía. Uh -huh. yeah, I used to I dance used to. Ah, okay. with, uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. I used to. Yep, that's good. Okay, continue practice. Really good work. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Next, I okay. cleaned my house yesterday. TV. I cleaned my house mm. yes como yo limpié mi casa ayer no ok y ahora quién dice digo yo la otra sí, porque ya dije. dale dale i needed to buy a cake yesterday está bien sí hoy sí lo entendí ¿Dale? No, el otro no lo entendía para nada. Ok. Ay, ¿qué decía? Dije, 
aquí dice Mike. Okay, that's it. The most important point here is, you know, communication, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. I have a question. Uh, que, que, como, como hace una oración cuando dos verbos van unidos? Por decirlo, por un ejemplo. Okay. Yo, de, yo quería decir, yo quería comer pastel ayer. Yeah, yeah, very good. That's a really nice question. So, okay, in that case, uh, you're gonna divide the two verb with the eh, la pequeña partícula to, to, teo, teo. Uh -huh. Pero verdad que el, el, el segundo verbo va normal, no yeah. lleva. Va normal. Uh -huh. uh -huh. eh, yeah. eh, Formúlala. Tell us. I want to eat cake yesterday. Yeah, yeah, very good. Reina, I want it or I want it. I want it. Uh, to eat say it again. Eat cake yesterday. Yeah, really good. Amazing. Good work. Okay, like this. Continue practice. Okay. Ya terminamos. Ah, <laughs> no, hay que seguir practicando. Okay. <laughs> my house yesterday. I need help in my house. <laughs> Ya la dijeron. Ok, students, did you finish? Yes. Yeah, ok, very good. Good work. Ok, you can practice with Fabricio, Fabiola, and so on. Right. Very good. Okay, students, amazing. Teacher. Hello, students. Did you practice? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm just writing on the chat. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're good, students. Okay, espero que hayan practicado. Uh, how, do you, how did you feel? ¿Cómo se sintieron? Mm, so, so. <laughs> ok, se notan eh, cuando hablamos del pasado, como que entra una duda. Y no sé, será así, será ya, bla, bla, bla. But this wow. skill you can improve, you know, through practice. If you practice uh, the past tense with the pronunciation or with the right pronunciation of some words, you are going to be able to do it well, right? Okay, very good. Continue with today's class. Okay, students. Eh, basically, estamos hablando de los regular verbs. Estamos hablando de los verbos regulares. Estos temas son bastante extensos. Eh, solo nos quedan seis minutos. Así que, eh, we're going watch a video. Vamos a ver un video que está on the platform. But for today's class, we're going to have irregular verbs. 
Así que lo vamos a dejar para to the next class, right? Porque ya no nos da el tiempo. Y lo que quiero es que lo comprendan. Una vez comprendiendo los verbos básicos, you're going to be able to talk about passive tense, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna watch a video about this. Give me. Okay, very good. I'm sorry. This one. We're gonna watch a video. Uh, can you listen to the video? Can you hear this? This activity. Yep. Yes. Okay, very good. Hi, everyone. Yes, you too. To sound natural when pronouncing simple past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in ind, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voiced sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voiced sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. <laughs> Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as blended. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sound. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C H G H T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have voice sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, Used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs and then record yourself using the website, bokaroo.com. 
after you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. Okay, students. You got it, right? Ahora sí se comprendió mejor. Yeah. Sí, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Very good, amazing. Okay, students, this class is for you, right? Try to enjoy it. That's amazing when you practice, when I see your smile. That, um, you know, my payment, I feel really good. But unfortunately, time is over. I don't know if you have a question so far. Questions? No, teacher. Everything. Everything is clear. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, Marie. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Um, in Spanish. Oh, in Spanish. Uh, cuando uno ve los videos, por, ej por ejemplo, ese que acabamos de ver, siempre sale que uno tiene que como formular una discusión, dice ahí, o una pregunta. ¿Eso okay. siempre lo tiene que hacer uno al ver un video o no? Ok, ok. Eh, ok, that's good. Veamos, Reina. <coughs> es una muy buena pregunta. Eh, you are allowed to do it, right? Eh, Ustedes pueden agregar algo a la discussion part. Pueden agregar un audio o escribir algo, si ustedes gustan. Si no, no hay ningún problema. Lo que sí es sumamente importante es the knowledge check, el, el pequeño test que aparece. Luego, the midterm exam, que ese sí ya lo tienen que haber terminado para esta semana, les dije. Y el examen final, o monte. Sí, eh, no lo vamos a hacer juntos acá porque sería... No se puede. <ríe> eh, but you have to do it by yourself. Tienen que hacerlo por ustedes mismos. El examen final bueno, en el section. Wow. ¿En cuál sección, disculpe? Why? Ah, ok, ok. Ok, ok. But don't worry for the next week, right? Ok. Sí, entonces, porque yo ahorita llevo hasta la sección 3, que es, creo que es por la que vamos, ¿no? Yeah, sure. Uh, number 4, I think. Ah, ok, ok. <ríe> Ok, eh, veamos. Entonces, veamos. para, teacher, ya. para el... Sí, ya puedo hablar. Eh, no este, la pregunta es, le entendí bien, para el lunes tenemos que haber completado hasta el examen final. Ya, yes. pero la si, sección... usted, si la sección 5, eh, la vamos a ver durante la semana, pero si ustedes pueden ir adelantando, sería mucho que mejor. ¿sí? Ok. Sí, yeah. usted dice que no, tenemos que hacerlo por nosotros mismos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero yo tengo un problema en la 4.4 y de verdad no logro salir de ella. Tal vez me puede ayudar porque de verdad no entiendo. La idea okay. creo que es entender, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, sure. Ok, good job, Leticia. En, en ese caso, me mandan por WhatsApp en el grupo. Eh, teacher, okay. I don't understand this question or this sentence or how to do this. Y yo les ayudo. Ok. Right. Porque a veces tienen que ponerlo a, o todas las letras en mayúscula, sin abreviación, sí. que esto, que el signo de interrogación, una letra, puede hacer la diferencia, ¿right? ¿Yep? Sí, okay. y ahí te tengo todo esto. Yeah, yeah, I know. Eh, Pero ahí le escribo, ahí le escribo. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna be there in order to help you, right? Ahí voy a estar para ayudarles, así que, eh, I don't know, if you have another questions. No question. No question. No. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, students, uh, that's it for today's class. Unfortunately, time is over. Eh, el tiempo se nos pasa sumamente rápido, pero ese es algo grandioso porque no se siente. Bueno, al menos yo. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, bye bye. Take care and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye.